Hello and welcome to the WAC Tournament Preview. Barry Butel alongside Lopes Insider Paul Coro, and we are on the eve of the WAC Tournament, the second trip for GCU for the uh, women and the men at the basketball tournament at the Orleans Arena. Hope to see you there Wednesday through Saturday, hopefully through Saturday <laughs> for both the men and the women. Let's begin with the women. Their season, a bit of uh, disappointment uh, coming in uh, nine and five uh, a season ago, but this season a little bit different uh, with some new faces for Nicole Powell. Yeah, and those who have returned know the experience of winning the first round yeah. game last year and sort of the, the rhythm of the season, but they've got Deja Daniel who just became a second team all wax selection and she's had some double doubles late in the season and kind of come on and like you said, a lot of young players, a lot of key freshmen that have come on and developed and AJ Cephas had some help things early on and she's hit her rhythm too. They are pretty hot from the uh, from the arc. Akula and Veras hitting from the three-point land. Yeah, really need to see senior Kavita Akula have a game like that. She made six threes mm -hmm. last week in a win, so she's finishing on a high note. And then on the flip side, Ben Laveras, a freshman, has shown that three-point shot, and she's really developed through the season. The coaching staff has said some good things about her recently. 8.30 tip, Wednesday evening, Orleans Arena, the opener for the women. The following evening, same time, 8.30, the men taking on, they revisit Seattle University after they fell to the Red Hawks in Seattle to close out the regular season. Yeah, no uh, no reason to take first round lightly after you lose an overtime to them, but you know, this week could is a flip of last week. If they beat Seattle, they see, could see Utah Valley again, which was Thursday's mm -hmm. game. Uh, Seattle game, they know what they need to, to do with that one. Seattle's defense has really come on late in the season. You look at their conference record, and you can't really weigh that as much as overall. They had a great 12-3 and non-conference record, and then they won five of their last six games going into the postseason. But, you know, you got guys like Carlos Johnson who have really come on through the season. Now he's starting, and now he's become their leading scorer. Uh, Michael Finke, uh, been playing great, became a first-team all-wax selection because of the huge games. He's had four of his best five career games in the last month or so. And Carlos got honored as well as uh, Jared Martin, right? Yeah, Carlos with the second-team pick and Jared Martin with a – uh, almost a career achievement acknowledged. You know, he's been such a great defender. He got picked for the all defensive team. That's a lot of respect from the coaches oh, yeah. for what he's done, even though he got hurt midway through the season. Well, this tournament, obviously anything can happen. They beat Seattle earlier in the year. Utah Valley, they came on strong as well. They're one of the top scoring teams and in, in all of college basketball right now. And it seems like Coach Pope has this team hitting on all cylinders. Yeah, Utah Valley is a really great shooting team. Jake Toulson, one of the best shooters in the country, uh, could be a player of the year candidate. Uh, you know, but they have shooters across the line. That was one of the things that Lopes need to recognize better. They have about six shooters who, who can hit 40% or better on threes. So just recognition in their game plan will be key on that one. It's like Dan Marley says, you know, he's, a, he's not afraid of anyone in the WAC and he's afraid of everyone because it, uh, the parody has shown that anybody can beat anybody. Um, they've certainly indicated that the first two rounds, no matter who they play, they've beaten those teams. We will have Facebook, Instagram, live reports, pregame and postgame. And of course, for all of the coverage of the tournament, Lopes Insider, Paul Corral, at gclopes.com, right? Yeah, we'll have full uh, highlights and uh, photo galleries and stories on each game. And remember to listen to Michael Potter. Paul will be alongside on 1580 The Fanatic 99.3 FM throughout the tournament. Thanks so much for tuning in to the WAC Tournament Preview. We hope to see you at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas.